Hi everyone, my name is Susie and I'm a third year math student at the University of Warwick. Now, I remember, believe it or not, when I came for my offer holder day, uh, about three years ago now, um, and I remember it just being a completely overwhelming experience, I had no idea really what I was meant to be asking or looking for, so I thought I'd kind of just give some of my tips and tricks to make use of your offer holder days. Um, several offer holder days have already happened, so if you have already gone on yours, I hope you enjoyed it. But I know we've got a couple to come, so this is for those guys, I guess. And also, if you've already done your offer holder day, um, there are still things you can be thinking about, so let's get right into it. First of all, I think one of the really important things is accommodation. Um, Warwick offers accommodation to first years that you can live on campus, which the majority of people I know do spend their first year on campus. So that's something you want to be looking out for because, you know, you can make the best of a bad situation, but if you're going to be living in a place for a year, you you want to know that you have some good options. So I went and looked at a couple of di the different accommodations. Um, one thing I found really interesting was looking at accommodations at a range of price points because you know, some people have a very restrictive budget and some people have more freedom. Um, I did end up in Whitefields, which was, and I believe still is, the cheapest accommodation. Um, that's something I don't regret, but I think it was also useful for me that on my offer holder day, when I was looking at the accommodation, I was looking at some of the more expensive accommodations. And in my head, I knew for me, I was like, well, I know that I'm not going to benefit by spending this much more money on getting this room and I wouldn't really have been able to make as informed a decision if I hadn't looked around. Um, another important thing with accommodation is just to make sure, do you like it? Can you imagine yourself living there? And if there are certain things that you really need then open days are a great and offer holder days are a great day to kind of, you know, check that out. So if you're desperate for an ensuite or if you really want, you know, to be living uh, in Lakeside which is like uh, maybe a more quiet area or if you really want to be living really on close to campus then off holder day is a great day to kind of like look at some of your options and actually get a feel for them in person because you know you can look at the photos and stuff and lots of people do room tours i have a room tour of whitefields if that's something you're looking into um but you know nothing really gets across the information is actually seeing it for yourself and the the final thing i guess is also seeing the, the physical locations of the accommodation is so important um, because there are a range of accommodations which are spread out all across campus. So it might be that somewhere like Westwood, which is, you know, the furthest campus away from Central Campus, sorry, the furthest accommodation from Central Campus, uh, it might be that, you know, you walk the distance from your future department to Westwood and you think, no, this is way too long, I could never do that walk. Or you might walk it and you might be like, yeah, this isn't too bad. Uh, personally, I don't actually think it's that awful, but compared to Whitefields, which is central campus, um, you know, there, there definitely is a difference and now is a good time to examine that difference. So whilst you're looking around campus, um, another thing you probably will want to be looking out for is the various different things which Warwick Campus has to offer. I personally love living in a campus uni, it was one of my main um, like reasons that I wanted to come to Warwick. And if you have things, you know, like lifestyle things or hobbies that you know you want to continue at uni, now is a really great time to be looking out for them. So if you have the time, you know, to go to the sports and wellness hub, if you're really into your sports, if you know that you're going to be like doing a lot of this one kind of hobby and you want to go see the place where, you know, that society carries out some of its events. If you know that you're really into like arts and theatre and you want to go to the music centre or the Faculty of Arts building, you know, it's, it's a great time if you do have the forethought of going, I know that I want to be doing this activity to go and check it out now. Um, I think another thing which really helps you get kind of a sense of some of the social life of work is to look around some of the restaurants and cafes and stuff like that. Um, you can visit the SU building, I believe, on, on an offer holder day. You probably won't be able to get into the room, like the clubs um, on Warwick campus because I just don't think they're going to be open during the day. So if you're a big party animal and you want to go clubbing, unfortunately, I don't think you will be able to see that on Warwick offer holder day. But you'll be able to get kind of a sense of some of the buzz of campus and some of the things that we have going on if you visit the, the various chains 
um, that we do have on store. Um, on the kind of topic of, you know, thinking ahead to the future, what you're going to be spending your time doing at university, I'd really recommend going to the library. This was one of my favourite um, places to go to on offer holder days when I was like going to different universities because if you're going during term time, I think it's a really good indication of the kind of student atmosphere. Because if you go into the library, you can kind of get a sense of the students studying and also the students using it as a social space. Um, and that's just, I think, yeah, a really nice way to kind of actually, as well also just be able to kind of place yourself. Like, can you imagine yourself being one of these students? Does it look like, you know, they are engaging with the library in the kind of way that you would want to. Um, it might be, you know, STEM degrees might not go to the library as much, but I think essay based um, degrees do go to the, to the library quite often. So chances are you're going to be spending a lot of time in there. So if it's a space that you don't like for whatever reason, if you don't like the location of it or, or the design of it or something like that, that's something which might not be a deal breaker, but it's, it's always something that's nice to keep in mind. And from my experience, if you want like offer offer holder merch, like you want pencils and rubbers and, and books and bookmarks and stuff, the, the library is almost always the place where they give out this free stuff. Um, the other place where they might be giving out any of this kind of uh, merchandise or maps or whatever will be on, you know, the tours and stuff they're doing of campus. And I would really recommend doing that because you can get a tour from an actual Warwick student. Um, you know, and these ambassadors, they'll be able to answer any of your questions, they'll be able to kind of tell you how they've experienced work as a student, and you'll just be able to get some of the, you know, really useful, like, insider information. Um, I went on a tour in, when I went off my offer holder day, that was just a really nice way to see campus and to be able to, you know, not feel entirely lost, because obviously I could navigate it myself, but having someone who's there, and also someone who could, like, because I had, um, an induction session I needed to get to, someone who went, okay, you need to be there by this time. Okay, we need to leave by this time. Like they actually knew and could keep me on track and keep me focused, which was super, super handy as someone who had a lot to do. Um, that leads me quite nicely onto the induction sessions, the taster sessions. If your department, the department you're hoping to go into, offers anything like that, they offer any kind of talks, any taster sessions, I really would recommend going. I can't stress it enough because Personally, I'm, I'm someone who will kind of, I like to think that I'll adapt to most situations. So even if the accommodation or the hobbies or whatever, like even if that's subpar, I'll adapt to that. But I think at university, you cannot adapt to a bad degree. And I've been very lucky that I think Warwick has offered an absolutely excellent maths degree. I'm so happy, you know, that I, I've ended up where I am. And that was happening from day one. I, I still remember we, in the taster session, we were doing a bit of stuff about like real and imaginary numbers and the different like types of numbers, your, your natural, your integers, your rationals, irrationals, everything like that. And actually going into that space, sitting down in a lecture hall with all the other students around me, having a lecturer writing on the blackboard at the front, that like nothing else made me feel like, oh, I can imagine being here. I can imagine doing this for the next three, four years, whatever. And and yeah, just being able to get that sense of your future, your degree, your department, I think is so, so useful because I think the offer holder days, you've obviously already done your research into the university. You know that you want to theoretically go there, but then offer holder days are for, okay, what are the actual ins and outs? Can I imagine myself here? Will I be happy here? What will I enjoy here? So your degree is going to be such a big part of what you enjoy about university so it's really useful to kind of get an indication of that very early on. Building on from that obviously if you can find out information about your department that's so useful to do. So I spent a bit of time on my offer holder day, I did run out of time um, and I wish I'd had more time to kind of explore the Zeeman building where maths is, is based. But I think that's just another one like accommodation where it's just really useful to see the space and see if you enjoy being in that space. Um, obviously it will depend very much on your degree, how much you need in terms of like equipment and labs and stuff, because obviously if you're doing something like chemistry, then you you might want like these really high tech equipment or these gorgeous labs. Um, whereas for maths, most of the time you can stick us in a room with a chalkboard and a projector and we'll be a-okay. So 
that was less of a concern for me, but if that's something that's important to you, then again, making sure that the university has what you want is now is just a really good time to, to check that out. The final thing, and I think one of the more important things, but also probably one of the more difficult things to judge is the, the, the general kind of atmosphere of the people going there. Um, my experience of university has been that I've met a very wide range of people. Uh, Warwick is a very diverse uni in, in basically any of the measures you can use for diversity, so that's been very useful in terms of meeting lots of different types of people. Um, but I think on an offer holder day, something that, that came across to me was Warwick, Warwick had a, a, a lack of snobbery, I guess. Is that a word? Being snobbish, being... I don't know, to, it, it, it felt very welcome, like a very welcoming environment. It felt like people were motivated without being entirely like only focused, you know, on their academic side of things. Um, and that was something which, you know, you're, you're obviously not gonna be able to work out this, the, the aura of every person at the university from one off a whole day. But I think it's something where, you know, I, I would really say trust your gut on that kind of thing. If you get a sense that the kind of people who go to the university don't have the same motivations and passions that you do, that that might be something which you want to consider. Because obviously, again, you're not gonna meet every type of person whilst you're there, but when I compare Warwick to some of the other universities, in terms of just how friendly and how welcoming people were, that was definitely a major plus for Warwick in my books. But this is something also I feel like universities get a very get reputations and so going on these offer holder days if you maybe you are expecting people to be really snobby and then you get to the university and on the offer holder day everyone's really lovely and down to earth then that's obviously very useful for you that you don't have to go off those stereotypes and what other people have heard that you can form your own uh, opinions i think all of this is just basically like try to get as informed as possible so you can make a really like well-grounded decision on what university you're going to go to if you have received an offer to come to an offer holder day, then you've obviously done really well. So congratulations on that. But you're now in the really exciting and difficult part where you need to now actually be making these concrete choices towards your future. And you wanna be making the choices which are best for you. Obviously, there are some things which might be really important to you. There are some things which might not be, but offer holder days are just really great at getting that sense of the entire university, the entire, experience what your life is going to be like as a student there and how much fun you're going to have you know how useful it's going to be to you what kind of people you'll be with where you'll be living what degree you'll be doing so i think just try and get there as early as you can experience as much as possible like engage with as many of the tours and interactive sessions and taster sessions and talks as you can because they are you know people coming to you with actual experience can answer your questions and for the most part, I think people, you know, they're not going to be signed up to do an offer holder day if they don't want to be helpful. So, you know, don't you don't have to be scared or anything like that. Um, and yeah, just just try and learn as much and immerse yourself as much as you can, because it's a very difficult decision. So the best thing you can do is make sure you're well informed. Congratulations again to anyone who has been offered uh, a place at a work offer holder day. Good luck on making your decisions. Uh, obviously, I'm biased, but. I hope you uh, do enjoy your work off a whole day particularly much compared to the others. Um, and I hope this has been useful. If anyone has any more questions, just let me know in the comments and I'll see you all in the next video.